Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you Scorpio? I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's get into your love life. Let's see what spirit has for you for the remaining of the month of April 2021. Let's see what spirit has for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month remaining of April 2021 regarding love and romance. All right, let's get into it, Scorpio. Without further ado, you have the High Priestess. This is the energy that you will be uh, either embracing or that you will be taking on for the remaining of the month. The High Priestess is all-knowing. This is listening to your intuition. This can also represent um, certain hidden information that you may have or that you may be sensing or information in regards to the person or partner that you're dealing with. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be feeling like there are certain things that they're not being completely honest or transparent about. Uh, the partner of your interest is taking on the energy of the King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This can also represent a person that is definitely... Um, they could be a bit reserved. And I feel that with the High Priestess, there may be like a feeling of like... They don't really necessarily speak their emotions. They may have trouble communicating um, there's almost like this feeling of with the high priestess, I'm sensing you feeling a bit, um, like overanalyzing or overthinking, uh, feeling like they are reserved or holding themselves back, uh, because it is coming up as an earth energy. They may actually have issues like communicating. I know Scorpio is a very, uh, you guys are extremely emotional sign. Uh, you guys are very vocal about your form of expression, about your emotions. And this could be a person that could be a bit reserved, a bit coming off a bit like cold or distant, uh, oblivious, or even a person that is a bit standoffish. I just feel that they're not completely in tune with their emotions. But what Spirit is telling you is pay attention to how they're treating you. Pay attention to their actions versus their words. I feel that it's it's a person that doesn't really vocalize or doesn't really express much, much emotion. And that could be why you're feeling like, are they hiding something? Are they not being honest or transparent? That type of energy. Um, I feel you guys being very much in your head about this person. But because they are coming up as the king of pentacles, it's a person that does more through action than through words. So just uh, understanding that. Now, the connection itself is the emperor. So I definitely do see uh, this is a person that is definitely looking for something long term or they are ready to um, they're ready to invest. They're ready to put in the work. Uh, to make this connection happen or to make this relationship progress. I definitely see here the emperor holding the world. Uh, and this is like, again, I feel very strongly like if you feel that the person that you're dealing with or the person of your interest is not like as expressive as you would want them to be, you need to get out of your fears, Scorpio, or you need to get out of the feeling of like not trusting people. Um, just because a person um, was taught a different way of loving doesn't mean that it is any less or any better than the way you were taught. So I feel that what you guys need to work on is the structure of the relationship or the structure of how you guys communicate and express your emotions. Because I feel that this person, and maybe you've dealt with people in the past that are overly expressive or that kind of tell you what you want to hear versus showing you. And this is a person that's going to show you. But I feel that your like <laughs> your uh, insecurities are coming up. They are like taking hold or they're they're basically coming up like is this person 
I feel you like not really trusting them or not fully trusting them. You're questioning. Um, but again, what they're telling me here is that this person is looking for something long term. This is a person that is wanting to build a strong foundation. This is someone that is not going to show you through words, but through actions. Maybe in the past you've dealt with people that only, you know, talk to talk or tell you what you want to hear. And you're not used to this. But again, to me, um, a person that shows me through actions is much more appreciated than a person that just tells me what I want to hear or assumes that they're, they say what they assume I want to hear. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel that you may be feeling a little bit imbalanced in regards to this person because you feel like they are being sneaky or they're hiding or not being tr completely transparent. But in reality, they're trying to show you through actions how they feel about you. So pay attention to that. Now, in regards to the advice here, yeah. So the advice is the Queen of Swords, and that's definitely the energy that I was feeling with the High Priestess. The High Priestess is usually uh, listening to your intuition. This is uh, aligning yourself to higher spirit. But I feel that the High Priestess is coming up a bit of uh, in the reverse position. So it's a feeling of with the Queen of Swords, the advice is put your guard down. Um, don't be very quick to feel like people are deceiving you um, or like people have like hidden motives behind behind their actions. It's um, I always tell my clients like don't trust people at face value. Allow time to show you their actions. This is the reverse. This is them showing you through actions and you're over here like, well, why aren't they expressing their feelings? Why aren't they telling me? Why aren't they giving me clarity of where they want to move? how they want to move or where I stand with them. If they're going above and beyond to give you time, if they are investing in trying to get to know you better, if they are making plans, if they are, you know, wanting to make plans to take you out on a date, if they are wanting to invest in, and put time into you, that's showing you through actions that they do care. That's showing you through actions that they're coming at you the right way. And you're over here doubting it. You're over here like, well, I don't know, like, um, I'm not sure that, you know, I can deal with the person that is not very expressive. Well, maybe in the past you've dealt with people that are overly expressive and are not authentic. So again, with the Queen of Swords, you need to get a little bit out of your head, out of your mind. Um, follow your intuition, yes. Um, but question if it's your intuition or if it's just that you're tainted and these are your defensive mechanisms kicking in. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, pay attention to that and learn to differentiate that. Now, the likely outcome here is the judgment. So I feel that there is a decision to be made in regards to this connection or this relationship with the emperor and the king of pentacles. I see it stabilizing. I see it moving forward. I see it um, really like cementing. Um, for those of you guys that have been dealing with this person and there is no like... Uh, there's no title. I definitely see like the person will be stepping up, will be uh, wanting to pretty much make it official or take it to the next level. The emperor is all about structure and the king of pentacles is all about um, a representation of grounding. It is a representation of, you know, titles. It's a representation of um, longevity. So again, I feel that uh, with the judgment card here, the likely outcome is um, making a choice, making a rational decision. So for some of you guys, I feel that like you've been tainted. You've been, I don't know. I feel like you guys have dealt with people that are like very good with their words. And I feel that this person may not be good with their words, but they're good with their actions and they are authentic and genuine. So with the judgment card, uh, be careful not to make irrational decisions or to decide to cut off this person just because you feel like they are not being transparent or they're not being honest. I feel that for a lot of you guys, it could just be that, like I said, you are judging them not because your intuition is telling you, but because you notice that they're not as expressive or as overly emotional versus the people that you're used to dealing with. So let's see what the Oracle Love card has here for you in regards to this situation for Scorpios. Yep, 
illusion. What's fantasy or reality? And again, with the high priestess, I feel that it's the energy in reverse and the high priestess in reverse is ego. It's blaming your intuition. Like my intuition is telling me that something is off, but in reality, it's not. It's your defensive mechanism just because you're not used to this type of energy or just because you feel um, like they're not being authentic. You're quick to jump to assumptions and it's like a spiral effect. And you keep saying that it's your intuition or that you're sensing, but in reality, it's just that you have trouble either trusting or letting go of control. So again, be honest with yourself, Scorpio. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight and understanding. I hope that uh, it helps and I will see you guys soon. Till then, take care. Bye.